Nigel, good to be back here at XYZ uh, today in Devon. Uh, primarily talking about this 4 plus 1 UMC, a, a new machine. Tell us about it. Well, the, uh, we, we introduced the 5-axis early last year and um, sales of that have been very good. But what we found was a lot of customers were coming in saying they wish they could pay less and not have the 5-axis simultaneous. So we developed a machine to suit them. So really, this is exactly the same frame of machine and uh, but we've got a lesser control on it we've got the siemens 828 whereas the five axis machine comes with the uh, siemens 840 or the hyder 9 um, 640. i would i would hazard a guess that this this is a bigger market for you as well isn't it the four plus one full five axis is great and, and and there is a requirement for it but nowhere near as much as a full plus one well i don't know um, we, we we'll only find out with time um, at the moment, the five axis we've had for over a year and we've sold 13 of those, so we're quite pleased. That I, I wish we'd done more, but that's a genuine, truthful number. Um, these, we've not sold one yet. Um, we've only just introduced it. We've got them in stock. We've got four of them in stock, so I'm hoping we're going to sell them. So with this actual machine, let's, let's talk about it. What, what is good about the actual the UMC model? Forget whether it's full five axis or four plus one. For people that might not have seen this machine right. before in our videos. Okay. Well, we wanted a good, a good, solid, reliable machine. That reliability was very important to us. And also, and it's important to our customers, that accuracy was the, was the primary thing. Because everything's measured down here and the job's up here, you need to have some pretty sophisticated measurement to get a, a good machine. So both machines have the um, direct drive rotary table, 90 RPM. So we've got no worm and wheel, no maintenance, and therefore zero backlash, faster, much more reliable than a... It's better for longevity as well, isn't it? Absolutely, but much more reliable and much more longevity out of that. And so that was... And, and we've got a high nine... Um, I can't remember the resolution of the encoder, but it's the highest uh, accuracy encoder that money can buy. And so we've got linear scales on the five axis and they're optional on the four, the four plus one. And, um, but as I say, we've got a full gantry machine, the trunnion table. Uh, what do you think the advantages to the gantry machine on this? Or the gantry style of build? Well, the gantry style gives you a lot more rigidity. They are quite a heavy machine. They weigh just over nine tonnes and the, the gantry definitely gives you a lot more stability and accuracy and rigidity. Uh, what about your, when, when you come to the 4 plus 1, is there any, is there any other compromise? Uh, you can't do the full 5 axis machining, but are you standardising on some of the other features and areas of this particular model? Absolutely, we, we're, we're using a, an LCM table made in Italy, they've got a Kessler spindle in them, um, and we've got options of 12,000 standard, 15,000, 18,000 and 24,000 RPM. So there's no difference in the options that you can have on the machine. It's purely whether one's five axis or one is four plus one. Uh, expandable tool changes as well, quite a few options there. Yeah, um, the, the standard on this is, is 30 ATC, but we you can have a 48 or 60, and we carry them all in stock. How much of an important part is where you buy these machines from, Nigel? Uh, you know, talking from XYZ's perspective, you've got a lot of experience in machine tool sales, haven't you? Well, most of our machines come from one supplier, but this comes from a, 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 a premium supplier that's been involved in five axis for probably eight or nine years now, and they've literally sold thousands throughout Europe. Uh, of the different models that they make, not of just of these models. And so we've gone to a very um, accomplished supplier of five axis machines. And we w didn't want to start with somebody new because I'm sure there's a lot to learn to get to the level they're at today. I, I think that there's possibilities here for your, your current uh, existing customers that want to move into five axis but like we've said already maybe not need the full simultaneous five axis machining you could hold their hands quite well yeah. couldn't you yeah yeah well for, for years we've been offering two axis tables on our three axis machines so we have effectively having five axis with a, a 250 millimeter chuck so we know about five axis we've literally sold well probably 10 a year of those 
and so now we're uh, now we've got a bigger machine that's purely produced as a five axis machine whether it's four plus one or five I noticed uh, finally here the, the roof on this it, it's open is that yeah. is, is there an option to have an enclosure as well depending on whether you're using yeah. uh, high pressure coolant and yeah well it comes standard with 20 bar high pressure coolant both machines the, uh, you can have a 70 bar, and if you have 70 bar, I'm sure we'll get some flicking out of the top. So it comes with a roof if you buy the 70 bar. Um, you may want it for other reasons, so it is an option you can buy. And we've got two types of roof. We've got an automatic roof, which you can see later, or we've got a standard, just a fully enclosed, uh, enclosed roof. But the enclosed one still has a flap that can be moved so you can load the table with a crane. Because very important to mention, both these machines can take 600 kilograms on the table, higher than most of the competition. And one of the very, very important things that I mustn't forget to say is that when we tilt through to 90 degrees or, or 110 degrees, we've got 500 millimeters of bar length. And if you take a closer look at the job there and on the other machine, you'll see that we, we are working probably 300 millimetres off the table so that you can get the spindling to do, to do the, wor the, work, um, the work. So most people don't have a 500 millimetre job length on, from the table. They may have longer X travels and people think that they've got more travel, that, but it's not the case. Even machines with perhaps 700, 800 millimetres of travel don't always have 500 millimetres from the table. So very important to assess the working envelope as opposed to what it, what it just looks like because you, yes. you can get the weight that you've said, 600 kgs, yes. plus probably a bigger part. And in your opinion, Nigel, is there an advantage to having the table configured like this with the, the pivot points left to right as opposed to front to back? We saw it as very important because um, when you tilt the, way, the table the way it does, it means that with the door open you can get right up to the table and you don't have to lift over a, a bearing housing so you, you can slide straight onto the table. A forklift can come in and easily get to the table. So it was ease of loading that made us want that, the table to be in that axis. Plenty of advantages to this machine I can see. Now tell me about the price because I know everybody will be interested for this 4 plus 1. Where does it come in at, Nigel? Well, they, they start at about 125,000 and you've got a perfectly functioning machine at that. People may want to increase spindle speed, therefore increase price. But that's about all the, the only place you're going really, so 125,000 pounds. Oh, five axis machine, four plus one, 125k, that's where they start here. XYZ machine tools and they're in stock. Thank you, Nigel.